if you follow this channel for any length of time, you've probably seen me talk about some weird, wild, and wacky bugs. Some that are fairly recent, others from years gone by, and today is going to be the latter, regarding a subject that absolutely should be boring, because it should just work and you shouldn't have to think about it. This is a bug report from 2008 by A. Brian B. I am unable to print from OpenOffice. I tried reinstalling OpenOffice, but it did not work. I use a Brother MFC 240C printer, and I'm running hardy. Printing from other apps has not been an issue. For the record, this is the title, not the description. This bug is otherwise known as the can't print on Tuesday bug. That's an accurate description of the bug, by the way, and you'll see why as you watch the video. The problem is in OpenOffice 2.4. I am running Hardy, that being Hardy Heron 8.04. When I click print, the box opens and allows me to choose the print properties. I have looked to make sure things like paper size was correct. When I click print, I get nothing. Nothing lights on the printer, no message. OpenOffice behaves just like it has printed and yet nothing prints. My printer is a Brother MFC 240C. It prints fine from other apps, Firefox, Evans, no problem. After this report, another user reported the exact same problem. This user also making use of a Brother printer. So maybe it's a problem with the driver being used for that printer. But they did point out something very important. I should add that I have been printing successfully from OpenOffice using this printer for a long time. However, this problem has come up now and then, and I'm not sure why it somehow goes away. Now, considering this first started happening when the user upgraded to Hardy, the most logical conclusion that a normal person is going to think of is maybe there was some sort of regression, and maybe there's something wrong with the drivers that make them intermittently just not function. So, an update came in, and they installed the update, and they said, OpenOffice started printing today. I don't know why. Perhaps it's because of a recent update. I don't know what update did this, but I do know that currently, the following updates are waiting to load. This user did the rest of those updates, and OpenOffice still prints. The other user also did the updates, and it was working for them as well. So clearly, the problem has now been resolved. It was some sort of regression. The problem is now gone, and... The issue can be closed. OpenOffice stopped printing today. The last update downloaded was comdata? Ah, it broke for me too. Five days later, OpenOffice began printing again before I had updated. So I'm not convinced updates caused the change. I just updated and still print. I'm happy it's working. Has any OpenOffice dev looked at this bug that can shed some light? As it is, Things seem quite unstable in my eyes. I then corrected after a boot cycle, OpenOffice failed to print. And finally we got a new character. This is Chris Cheney. This is very likely not an OpenOffice issue since OpenOffice has not been changed in Ubuntu 8.04 since June 27th, 2008. So the fact that updates fix and break printing in OpenOffice probably is due to something else. Maybe cups causing the problem. After this point, a bunch more people started finding the bug report, reporting the same sort of problem, reporting that things were sometimes intermittently just not working properly. But let's consider some of the dates where Brian said that things were not printing. So the day the bug was reported. What day was this? Tuesday. Here's a day where printing was still working. What day was this? A Friday. Here's a day when it stopped. What day was this? Tuesday. Here is another day when it had stopped. This was also a Tuesday. In most other situations, you could say correlation does not equal causation, and you'd probably be right. There is nothing special about a Tuesday causing this bug to happen. It's probably just the fact that the user is doing something on a Tuesday that they don't do on other days, and this is causing the bug to happen. But no, 
in this case, the really weird connection that you would never actually think is the thing causing the problem is the thing causing the problem. This is a bug where you can't print on Tuesdays. And one user actually worked this out. A guy by the name of Steve. What a fascinating bug. My wife has complained that OpenOffice will never print on Tuesdays. Then she demonstrated it. Sure enough, it won't print on Tuesday. Other applications do print. I think this is the same bug. Here is my guess. Print to a postscript file and observe this line. The creation date, chew the rest of this. Change the chew to anything else. In this case, x chew. Now, a postscript file is basically a printing script file. It is the thing you send to the printer to tell it to print, basically. Save the file and it begins to print. Tools like Evans work because they simply omit the creation date tag to begin with. This line right here is entirely optional. But that line saying Tuesday shouldn't be causing a problem to happen and changing to something that isn't Tuesday shouldn't be making it work. Now something odd happens when my cup script copies the file to a temp file. Some of the code is rearranged, not sure how or why, but it uses a command called file to identify the file as postscript. So file is a application that you're going to have on your system. If we run on something like my ZSH -enf, it'll tell me this is a symbolic link located at this location. If I run it on something like my games folder, it'll say it's a directory. Basically, it's just used to identify what a thing on your file system is. Now, it should be saying for a postscript file that it is postscript. This check would work on the original file you printed, but by the time it runs the check on the temp file, it misidentifies. Normally, it would return postscript document conforming at level 3.0, but there is another check that happens before the postscript check. If it finds Chu, if it finds Tuesday at the fourth byte of the file, it identifies it as an Erlang gem file. So the printer driver is doing exactly what it should be doing. The printer is doing exactly what it should be doing. OpenOffice is doing exactly what it should be doing. What you've sent it, according to the application that identifies the file, isn't a postscript file. This was never a problem with printing itself. It was a problem with the application that identifies the file. Now, he didn't know how to fix it, but he did have a workaround. So in the file that identified what to do for that printer, he changed the command that said cat to the temporary file to cat through said, which just modifies the file to remove it saying Tuesday in uppercase to Tuesday in lowercase, because if it was Tuesday in lowercase, it identified correctly. As such, on this specific report made against cups, this was marked as invalid, not a bug, won't fix. But there was a separate bug created specifically on the file bug tracker. File incorrectly labeled as Erlang gem file. OpenOffice does not print on Tuesdays. This problem got replicated in a much simpler form. If you had a file that just said 1 slash 2 and then chew with a capital T, this would come up as an Erlang gem file. According to the magic file, at the fourth byte of the file, it's looking for chew and then the rest of this date right here. Since the spaces aren't escaped, it sees the file containing chew at the fourth byte and it determines it must be an Erlang gem file. This person tested it with 4.21, 4.23, and 4.24. And weirdly, it was there in 21 and 24, but not 23. It correctly determines the file to be ASCII text, which in this case, yes, it would be. I don't know how it got fixed and then unfixed the version later. Here is the really funny part about this. This bug report was originally made on August 5th, 2008. Steve's post didn't come out until, where is it, right here, April 28th, 2009. And I mentioned this happened across a bunch of different versions of file. 
this wasn't just an 8.04 bug, it affected Hardy, 8.04, but also Intrepid, Jaunty, and the yet at the time to be released 9.10 Karmic. This was a problem that spanned four Ubuntu versions. One of them unreleased, but still, four different Ubuntu versions had a can't print on Tuesday bug. But because it was such a random bug, and these printers were known to be a little bit flaky at the time anyway, and printing at the time was known to be a bit flaky, nobody put two and two together. And who is going to think... The reason I can't print is because it's a Tuesday. Unless you have a good reason to think that, you're probably not gonna get there. Even though this bug is a really weird one that just doesn't make any sense, this category of bugs does actually have a name. Usually it's something like Heisenbugs, Boarbugs, Mandelbug, Schrodenbug. That should give you an idea of what this actually means. These are software bugs that seem to disappear or alter themselves when one attempts to study it. And every single software developer out there knows what I am talking about. You compile an application and it has a bug. Just to be sure, you're like, hmm, let's compile it again. The bug vanishes. Was the bug ever real? Was it a caching issue? Did you forget to save a file? Is it a race condition and it's going to come back? You have no idea. Who knows? All you know is that the bug seemed to have happened and it seems to be gone. So just don't think about it anymore. And that's how I feel about this one. This is such a stupid bug, right? It's not a stupid bug because, oh, it should have been fixed and, oh, how did it stick around for so long? It's a stupid bug because the conditions to make it happen just are dumb, right? Like, who is going to think that Tuesday is the reason that you can't print and someone actually thought it? I don't know how, but that's awesome. So let me know your thoughts down below. Did you know about the can't print on Tuesday bug? Are you just discovering it now? Let me know about some other dumb bugs you know about and maybe I'll talk about them. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, Scribes, Libero Pay link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and don't RM on Tuesday.